Hi, my name's Pete and I'm going to go through fitting a non-invasive ventilation face mask. Uh, masks come in different sizes and designs. Uh, before you select the right mask, try and pick a small, medium or large to fit your patient um, and have a look to see at the options of both the design and the materials of the mask to fit the individual. When we're going to put a full face mask on, uh, make sure the straps are on the loosest setting to begin with and you can undo clips at the back so you can secure it around the back of the head. So we can place the mask onto the face. You want to put it in a central position, resting on the, the chin and the forehead, so you can uh, achieve a good seal with the face itself. Then bring the straps round and behind the head, making sure there's no creases in the straps as you bring them round and you can clip them back in. To tighten the mask and achieve a seal, you then pull each strap evenly to try and make sure there's an even distribution of force across the face. Once you've tensioned each of the straps, you can then check that they're not too tight by running two fingers underneath the strap itself. Sometimes with mask designs, you may get a small amount of leakage from the side of the mask. Many non-invasive systems can compensate for this leakage, um, so don't be tempted to over-tension the straps. When the mask has been applied, make sure you take it off at regular intervals to check the skin. Areas of issues for a full face mask may be the bottom of the chin, um, and just above the eyebrows. And that's how you fit a full face non-invasive ventilation mask. This time I'm going to fit a oral nasal mask. Uh, this mask has a smaller surface area so it tends to impinge on the areas such as the bridge of the nose and the chin. So we're going to place it centrally over the nose and the mouth and then bring the straps underneath the, the patient and clip in at each corner. Once you're happy with the location of the mask, you're then going to tension each of the straps. Again, trying to make sure there's even tension across all four straps to avoid any pinch points on the skin. As with the full face mask, there may well be some leakage. Um, and again, the NIV systems can compensate for some leakage, so don't be um, too tempted to over tighten the straps. Try and check the skin at regular intervals by removing the mask uh, and particular areas that you'll be uh, alerted to would be the bridge of the nose and the bottom of the chin. Make sure you run two fingers under each of the straps so you avoid over tightening uh, the mask onto the face. And that's how we fit an oral nasal mask.